This is uh, Jared, VK3 Bravo Lima, and uh, as part of the VK ham series on the Icom IC7610, I wanted to show off some of the, well, one of the features, I guess, that uh, I've uh, quite liked, that uh, I guess really makes it sort of better than ha just having two 7300s on, on the, um, the desk. And you might wonder what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to talk about um, the dual receiver feature. Um, the Icon YC7610 has uh, twin, um, almost completely independent receivers. Um, they do share the attenuator, um, I've noticed. But um, aside from that, it's got two digital select modules, two full DSPs and all of that. Um, and why that's kind of cool is, well, with the two antenna sockets, it lets you sort of do real-time antenna comparisons. Um, now, the way to set your radio up for that Firstly, you want to enable the second receiver by pressing dual watch. As you can see there, I had the, um, the volume control up so you could hear, hear where it was tuned, um, tuned in on. Now, the second thing you're going to want to do if, you're going to, if you want to compare antennas is go and use the tracking feature. Now, you hold down and it will turn it on. Now, while it's in tracking, you'll see the main and sub um, flash continuously, but most importantly, you'll see Oh, I've got the dial lock on. Um, better take that off. Um, you'll see that both of the VFOs move at the same time. Now, why is this useful? Well, I guess this is their way of letting you do. Um, they 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 have, they've sort of they sort of call it diversity. They haven't really, I guess, shown commitment to the term, but. Um, it's, it's a form of diversity, at least, in that you can have one antenna in one ear and one antenna in the other ear. Um, but one of the good things about that, I guess, is just the fact that you can sort of hear the difference of your two antennas live, and you can even see it on the, uh, the screen with the scope. So that's what I'm going to set up for now. So we've turned um, dual watch on. We've turned tracking on. If I press dual here now, you'll see um, two scopes. Now they're both the VFOs, but they're both being th fed through antenna one, as you can see up there. So if I select the second VFO, um, the best way I've found to do it really is to press the main sub button, um, and then press that, like so. Now it's listening on antenna two, which is my vertical that's plugged in at the moment. There's a G5RV up the top, up about 45 feet, and a full-size quarter wave vertical on the sub VFO. So I'll go back over. Now, the other thing is, uh, oh, sorry, as you can see, um, AND1 and AND2 both have to be set manually. The next thing to do the antenna comparison that you might be interested in doing, um, it doesn't really matter, but um, it doesn't hurt to have the feature turned on. Um, well, I guess it does sort of hurt a little bit. You probably don't want to, um, but you can have digital select on. But I guess what I wanted to sort of point out um, and it might have been a little hard to see there, but when you turn digital select on, one, the radio makes clicking noises as you, you scroll around. Um, but two, with the right sort of conditions, you can see, and I'll turn the dual scopes off for the moment and uh, expand. You can see with the um, digital select on, as you roll through the frequencies, this, the, uh, as the, the band, sorry, the, um, the display seems to dim on the edges. So at the moment we're sort of dim on the edges. If we roll up the top, all the way to the top of the band, you'll see it's sort of dim down there. And that's a digital select, I guess, um, you know, doing its job. Um, and so you can easily see, see it doing that, as well as hearing it when it's active. Now for an antenna comparison, you probably don't want to have them on, um, because, you know, one of the nice things about the display is that it'll show you the bandwidth of your antenna. So um, you don't, you know, you don't, you don't really want to add to that with digital select. But if you were going to, um, you you won't see, easily see it here, but you do have to turn it on individually each for each receiver. See, as I'm going back and forth, um, you can see that the gradient's changing on the top receiver very slightly. Not the, not the easiest band conditions, um, but you know, see, it's more, it's lighter there than it is over there you can see that hasn't happened on the other VFO. That's because, as I said, you have to enable them separately per VFO. So we'll leave them off for an antenna comparison. 
But now we've got antenna one and antenna two. You can see them side by side and you can turn them on. Now I've only got one speaker plugged in. But you can clearly hear the vertical is much more susceptible to that electrical noise. You know, you haven't got much there at all. Add in the vertical, you can hear that electrical noise. Back it off, it's gone. Um, and it's very interesting because you can also see there's two signal strength differences. Now, one of the easy, well, the good features um, when comparing antennas is if you go expand set, dual scope type, and change it to side by side, you can actually see them like that. So you, the nice thing about that, I guess, is that you know you've got the me the full meter. You can see the deflection differences. Excuse me a second how they're jumping about, that sort of thing, um, which I quite like. I'm just going to turn off my, um, my fusion radio, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, you can see, you know, at least with my setup, on average, my um, vertical is probably about 2S units down on the G5RV, which is probably about right, considering what it is. Um, but it is, it is interesting. You know, we'll tune in on a signal here. And that, that's the, that's the signal received over the G5RV up 40 feet. This is the same signal on the vertical antenna. You can't tell much difference because in both cases, you know, it's it's 10 over or 30 over, so they're both very big signals. Um, but you know, it, it's it's just another thing you can have there. And I guess the disappointment that comes with this is that they didn't do full diversity with phase coherence, so you can't sort of use it for beam steering. But it is nice to be able to have a second receive antenna just sitting there. And of course. Um, the other nice thing is if, and I was, I was kind of hoping the station might be around, but if you're working an SSB pile up, um, you can listen to, um, you know, on your main VFO, you can listen to the, the DX station calling and on your sub receiver, which is, as I said, a full receiver, you can listen to um, where people are coming back to him and, uh, you know, sort of make up the conversation. So. Yeah, that's just been, a, I guess, a little look on how you set your radio up to use the dual receivers um, to compare antennas. And that's something I sort of, you know, I'm really interested in on this radio. So we'll wrap it up for now. Thanks for watching. This is uh, VK3BL um, blogging about the IC7610 um, for VK Ham. Um, cheers.